So this video is going to show you how you can stop your Fire TV stick or cube from timing out, i.e. stop the screen from going off. This is handy if you are showing things, say, as a demo on a screen in a reception area or just getting fed up with the screen going off after a certain amount of time. I did do a video on this a while ago, but unfortunately, this video no longer works because Amazon decided to block ADB debugging locally, which meant that the command that I told you to put in just simply doesn't work anymore. So I have found another way around it. So stick around. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this video is going to show you how you can stop your Fire TV stick or cube from going to sleep. This can be really annoying. And like I say, I've done a video about it a while ago, but unfortunately, Amazon have now blocked local ADB commands on the Fire Stick and Cube, and that no longer works. So this is another way around it. So first of all, I should say that you do need a device which has an ADB app that you can install on it, something like an Android phone or an Android tablet. You can also do this on a PC or Mac if you've got an ADB shell program on there too. But today I'm gonna to show you how you can do this on an Android phone. Also, we need to ensure that we're not running Fire OS 8. So if you wanna check what Fire OS you're running, I believe this works on Fire OS 6 and Fire OS 7. So to check what Fire OS you're running, then go across to settings over there, go down to and across to my Fire TV middle button, go into about, and there it should tell you under software version what version of Fire OS. So you should be okay if you're running Fire OS 6 and whatever it says there, or Fire OS 7. This will not work on Fire OS 8, and I'm not sure about Fire OS 5, but you can obviously give it a try. So once we've checked to see if we're running Fire OS 6 or 7, then we press the back button once on the remote control, go down to developer options. But if you do not see a developer, Developer options on there, then go back up to about middle button and basically just make sure the name of your stick is highlighted. So whatever's below about and above storage, highlight that and just keep pressing the middle button on the remote control until you see the message saying, no need, you're already a developer. Once you see that come up, stop pressing the middle button on the remote control, press the back button once, go down to developer options, middle button button and make sure that ADB debugging is switched on. If you switched off like mine is, highlight ADB debugging, middle button on the remote control, and then it will turn on. Press the back button again once and then go down to restart. Now this is very important. It may seem insignificant, but it is very important. Go down to restart, middle button on the remote control, go to the restart just over there on the left middle button and let the stick or cube restart. Once your Fire Stick or Cube has restarted, then what we need to do is we need to go into our Android device, our Android phone or tablet, and we need to download an app. So we need to go into the Play Store, so find that, and then in Search app at the top there, tap in there and type in the search remote space ADB, just as it's shown on the screen. Then tap on the magnifying glass in the bottom right-hand corner of your phone or tablet. And then what we are looking for is this remote ADB just here by Cameron Goodman. So tap install just to the right of the, uh, the symbol there. Let it install. This bit might take a bit of time. Please be patient with it. Once it's installed, then we need to tap open. And here it will say new key pair generated. So just tap OK. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to go back to our Fire Stick or Cube. And we just need to go into the settings again, just just across there and then go down again to my fire tv middle button go into about and then go down to network and what we need to do is we need to make a note of whatever is below ip address as you can see mine says 192.168.10.190 yours will say something different so don't just copy whatever i've got on my screen copy down write it down whatever you've got on your screen okay 
And then what we need to do is we need to go back to our phone or tablet. And I'm just going to move that over this side. And we need to type tap in IP address or host name. And then we need to type whatever we've got below IP address. So on mine, I'm going to type 192.168.10.1. One nine zero. Now I should have said this before, you do need to make sure that your phone or tablet is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your Fire Stick or Cube. And as you can see on the right hand side there below SSID, that is the name of the Wi-Fi network my Fire Stick is connected to. And that should be the name of the Wi-Fi network that yours is connected to too. So make sure that your phone or tablet is connected to the same Wi-Fi network work otherwise this isn't going to work so once you've done that tap on connect and then you should see this appear on your fire stick or cube allow usb debugging press the middle button on the remote control once to put a tick in the box to the left of always allow from this computer then press the down part of the ring on the remote control to highlight ok in white and then press the middle button on the remote control once you've done that Let's just go back to the phone and then you should see a prompt here. Mine says Mantis, yours might say something different. So what we want to do, first of all, is we want to check to see how many milliseconds it is before our fire stick times out, how long before the screen turns off. So what we want to type is settings space get space secure space sleep and then an underscore and then time out. Now there's no space between sleep underscore and time out. Type this in and then tap on the tick just in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Now what you should see come up underneath that command is the number of milliseconds that it's going to be before your fire stick screen turns off or goes to sleep. As you can see, mine is 1.2 million there and 1.2 million milliseconds equates to 20 minutes. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to disable the timeout completely. So what we need to do there is we need to type the command settings space put space secure space sleep underscore timeout. So again, there are no spaces between sleep underscore and timeout. Now we need to put in another space after timeout. And here is where we put the number of milliseconds that we want to wait before our fire stick or cube goes to sleep. So you can easily calculate this using Google if you want to, or if you never want it to sleep, all you simply do is put a zero after timeout. So a space, then a zero. A zero should mean that it would never, ever time out, never go to sleep. So once you've done that, press the tick in the bottom right hand corner of the keyboard, and then that should have set your fire stick so that it never goes to sleep. Now, if you want to check to make sure this has been implemented, then all we do is just type again settings space get space secure space sleep underscore timeout. And again, there's no spaces between sleep underscore and timeout. And then tap on the tick in the bottom right hand corner. And there you go. It will confirm underneath there zero. And that means that it's never going to go to sleep. Now, if you ever did want to put it back to its original setting, then all you've got to do is just type in there settings space put space secure space sleep underscore timeout and then space one two zero 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 so it's one two and then five zeros and then tap on the tick in the bottom right hand corner and that will set your fire stick or cube back up to go to sleep after 20 minutes and then once you've finished with this ADB shell, just type on your phone or tablet, exit, and then tap on the tick in the bottom right hand corner of the keyboard. And there we go, it terminates the connection. 
So there we go. I hope that guide helped. And if it did, consider making a donation by hitting that thanks button. Or if you can't do that, have a look in the description down below. If you're in the market for a VPN, Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube or Fire Stick accessories, we've got loads of links down there for you. We've also got a link down there to our Amazon store, which has got everything I love currently available at Amazon too. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to spend more time researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're on my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. If you want to check me out on X, formerly known as Twitter. I'm at CWTEK. Or if you want to check out my website, I'm at CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.